Hello there everyone and welcome back to Bay of Fire Blues. I'm your host, Navarro Lover, Mocha Lover, in which we shall do another focus. And we gotta talk about the rest of this campaign once we do another focus. Let's grab some more uh, civilian factories though. There are many state-run and state-sponsored businesses within our territory. Expanding these businesses could help prove useful or helpful for the days to come, which is gonna be absolutely true. So, using our development points, uh, we can continue to invest in these army group centers, which we will, but I'll be honest here, I have done this like three times. Okay, so if you don't know, like obviously we're trying to build up to Operation Kairos and go to war with everyone. Well, that's cool and all, but Red Eye Slavers are very, very strong. I'll put it like that. They're incredibly strong, actually. And every time I launch the invasion, it always fails. Always 100% times fails. I mean, we can do relatively well against the NCR, um, but even we can hold against Red Eye Slavers a little bit. But even with the Armored Group Center that spawns in West Sunny Shore, as well as the Armored Group North that, sp that spawns in Port's Hoof Approach, it's a bloodbath. It's an absolute bloodbath. The center can never hold. It never holds, basically. And the North can do relatively okay, but... Whew, like, it, it's... It, I'm not sure what else to say, but except that it's very, very difficult doing this. So, we're going to continue doing our focuses, and my strategy is this. I'm going to build, build, build build so much that well, off screen like once we finish all our focuses besides the stuff for operation cauterize we're gonna need a massive military for where we're headed like it's gonna be nuts like oh my goodness how many times i've lost this already it's so not good and we lose electricity almost immediately power energy whatever we call it so let's retool consumer goods factories because i we need civilian industry to do this many of our civilian factories are ill-suited for military production they should be renovated which, with new tools and new machinery so that they Two may serve our military because we need we need to build we're going to need a lot of forts because event eventually i've already played as red eye uh slavers at red eye red eye empire before um but like we're going to need to build because they go to war with everyone including ourselves later on and with their massive um military we're, we're, we're gonna grab this immediately um it, it's like no contest if you do if you just have like one stack of 24 soldiers it, there's it's literally just no conquest no no contest not, not conquest my apologies it's just that it, it's so insane it's nuts how strong they get and how weak we really are but if we spend our time wisely and i spend my time wisely off screen building up our armed forces once we get through all the focuses we should do okay but news from sky starfall the city of starfall has always been a bit of an odd one out within the enclave they are the only enclave city to be overseas, being positioned above the ruins of what was once New Maryland. Due to being so far away, communication between us and them is extremely limited. However, they do occasionally send reports to the rest of the enclave as to what's going on within their domain. In their latest report, they describe the current ongoing situation on Griffonia. The constant bombardment campaigns prevented any sort of stable government from rising within the former lands of Achilia and Wingbody, ensuring that no threat would rise against them. Meanwhile, the Holy Griffonian Empire has continued its endless crusade against the United Social States of Rizhakograd. Their century-long war keeps them from focusing their attention on anything else, leaving Starfall confident that they will never pose any threat to their city. Good to know, until we find out. It's probably not good. There's probably other stuff going on. Right now, 20 combat with the infantry at a minimum. Like, oh my goodness. I should have recorded some of this for you, like, off-screen, to show you how incredibly crazy the war will be. Because I didn't realize that these guys are extremely, extremely strong extremely strong it, it's still the ai don't get me wrong but still oh my goodness i'm prioritizing probably civilian factories everyone's going to die beforehand like I'm, I'm not even worried about that stuff but we'll see what happens actually if we can rush towards this deck and cover uh while we might be the strongest and most advanced force in the world that does not mean that there aren't other powerful forces out there our courts have identified large groups of organized savages that have managed to salvage some industrial capabilities to support their armies it'd make things much easier on us if we took action to weaken these forces before we properly deal with them which let's, let's go down that path quickly so requisition arms first as part of our efforts to ensure that our soldiers are properly supplied we'll be seizing privately held arms and equipment why would companies and citizens need energy weapons within our when our military is more cap than capable of protecting them and also we're gonna need more manpower so yeah Get to the focuses. I might literally play until like 1250. Oh, they become the Empire now. They're no longer slavers, which is fine. Whatever. Civilian factories. We, we need to, we need to build. Like, I'm not even worried about like equipment. Equipment, yeah, we're out of guns, whatever. I don't really care. Equipment is... Oh, we need more equipment, of course, but factories. I mean, we have to build forts. Like, this is nuts. Now, if you're watching this like 2021 or later, 
or second half of December, there's a reason why I didn't upload this video immediately the day after I uploaded the last one because of what's going to happen. Like, the insane war. This is a massive uphill fight. Massive. I'm going to need more power armor, too. Whew. Yeah. I'm going to make these guys 20 combat with, too. If we can, of course. Good. Good, and we'll make them 20 combat with when we can. But we're going to train pacification squads. The surface is vast and full of savage sub that would resist us at every turn. In order to ensure that these creatures can't cause any real trouble for us within our own lands, several new divisions shall be formed with the sole purpose of patrolling our territory and dealing with unruly animals as they find them. Go and get more soldiers. And then civilian factory production. we got to maximize that. Because even though we have this and that limits how fast we can build civilian, mili civilian and military factories, it doesn't matter. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this one too. I would much prefer getting greasers, but greasers are okay. It's not that much better, so. I'm going to even more research speed. Ladder materials. I'm actually going to go ahead and do primitive radio as well. That'd be good. And then pacification squads. Then we'll go grab this one. A dangerous a sabotage dangerous enemies. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Ducking cover. I'm not sure what this exactly does, because when I did this off screen, um, all, everyone was already dead except for Red Eyes Empire, so. Maybe we'll get some good stuff. Maybe we won't. We'll obviously need to do Hellhound studies and such, but we'll see what happens. Five more divisions, the Pacification Squad. They're okay. They're six combat with, but they do have double dog divisions or support companies, which I think is awesome. I love the doggos, but they're not that strong. They're really just not strong at all, which I don't like. Uh, speed Rush. Hello, Speed Rush. And that person. I'm going to go and grab Ninja. And Awareness. We're even more recon. Cool. You need to clear war on those guys. Whatever. Very nice, very nice. And what do we grab here? Shock and all. Or no, it's Scorched Earth, then Shock and all. Civilian production. Those guys. Honestly, okay, so when I try this off screen, I kept funneling more soldiers into these groups. They never showed up. Like, they had like 17 to start with. Then I made sure that they had 45 divisions each. There was I there was absolutely not 45 divisions in each group that spawned, which is really disappointing. Really, really disappointed that both sides did not have um, the amount of divisions that I poured those development points into, which really, really sucked. Like, it didn't make any sense, but whatever. Uh, right now, we still need a few more guns. That's, we can even get a few more guns, that's fine. I really don't want to give these guys anything, since it, like I saw off screen, nothing happened. Like, literally nothing happened with these guys. I mean, the North Group is pretty good to invest in, but it's, they just die so fast. It's like, not even worth doing. I could grab another arms workshop, but I'm keeping an eye on this. And the more military factories we get, the less consumer goods factories we get, which I want to improve upon, so. We could do this, we get less research speed, but we don't need to go to war just yet. I want more industry. We gotta get more industry. Uh, we can go with import plants for sky parks. Outside the cloud farms, plants are an exotic rarity above the clouds. Our ponies would enjoy marveling at the greenery if we were to import plants from the surface and place them within our sky parks for public enjoyment. We can have more guns and such, but military training is good. That's actually very good. We're going to need some field hospitals too. Uh, yeah, let's go and grab this one. Healing powder, thank you. Another division, don't mind if we do. Very good. Enclave company, we should have enough for 20 combat with divisions. Thank you. Very good. Put you on high as well. Navarro, 20 combat with, with no support companies, which is not ideal. Throw some dogs on there. Doggos are good. Good boys. And, ooh, you know what's going to just get one of these. If you think there's a good name we should have for Intelligence Agency, go right ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'll gladly listen. We'll see what happens. Up next, I guess we'll do Hellhound Studies. There are many creatures on the surface, perhaps one of the most fascinating of which are the Hellhounds. Mutated creatures that are capable of cutting through our power armor as if it were paper. While this may, may be nothing but beasts, we could potentially learn from their natural capabilities. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Civilian stuff. Guns will be fine. We could throw stuff over here. Infantry is really, really weak. It's not really worth using too much, I think. We only have five deployment points anyway, so. Soldiers. I'm gonna we gotta max out soldiers. Yeah, we really do. Cause basically my plan is that we're gonna lose the center. We'll probably lose lose the north as well, so I really want to invest into our own military first. That's probably just better to do. Stability to exchange for war support. Uh, not really worth it, I think. 
few days left, few days left. We'll probably do high frequency control. Our researchers have discovered that certain frequencies have a profound effect upon the Hellhounds. This knowledge could be used to great effect to control, to control them. Having an army of creatures capable of cutting through steel could be very beneficial indeed. Radio, thank you. And I'll grab you and Teal Blitz. Blue pie. I like pie. Pie's not bad. Help put down resistance wherever we need it, which would be great, even though we don't really need it right now. Totally fine with me. More civilian production. Because we got to build forts. we got to build a lot of forts, actually. Soldiers, yes please. My only goal is to hold out as much as possible. And we'll probably get some saws, actually. Saws are pretty good. We could keep doing that stuff, but... And we need dynamite, too. But this is good for defensive uh, weaponry. That's actually pretty darn good. Mm, yeah. I, mean, I can throw more stuff on here, but it won't do anything for us. Or, it does very little. The north is actually pretty good. The center never holds, though. Uh, special forces capacity multiplier is pretty good. Recon when entrench. Max planning bonus. More attack is very nice. Healing powder is very good. Get some dynamite next. Thank you. How much support equipment do we have? Plenty. I don't know if we can actually edit this group, though. I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't save this. So basically, we're stuck with six combat with infantry divisions, which really, really sucks. But divert troops to the army group center. We will need all soldiers on the ground once Operation Cauterize is launched. A number of our divisions above the clouds will be instructed to deploy as part of the army groups. Yes, they will. For the love of God, I hope they hold. Hope they can do their job. And actually, over here, I'm going to go ahead and do... I want East Tech, because it gives you slightly more reliability. But I'm going to put everything into air technology, even more construction speed. That's because we need fa we need factories, especially civilian factories. If we build a big enough, you know, industrial base, then we'll be okay. But we don't have that right now. We definitely don't have that. More development points, so it'll be great. Uh, civilian production, yes, please. Up to seven now. Good. The Republic is gone. So be it. Oh crap! Who's this? Unity is justifying against us. Well, I mean, they're going to go to war with us eventually anyways. Unity, Ascent, they'll probably just go to war with everyone on the map. Which is okay. But not really. So, here's what we're going to do. New Mango's annexed by the NCR. NCR is not that bad. We can take them out. Even New Maryland here. Or New Mare Way, I should say. New Mare Way. Not that bad. Really not that bad. Cool. And we're going to need more power armor divisions. Because without power armor, we're, we have nothing. So... Uh, anything we can throw in here? Chems? No. Train as much as you can. Focus high. You guys go right there. If we get, uh, well, I guess not. Scorched Earth. And we'll finish our land auction with Shock and Awe. Beautiful. Alright, you guys go there. Because you're going to need extra strength. As much strength as possible. Give our troops to the army groups. Build up a strategic reserve. In preparation for Operation Cauterize, we will launch an effort to mass produce a great deal of weaponry. These will be intended to replace any weaponry that gets damaged over the course of the operation. Soldiers, thank you. Hopefully we can get some... Oh, Steel Rangers declare one of the main, main Hatton Raiders. Totally, totally fine. And civilian production, we need more deployment points. Because I need... We need, really, an industrial base that... In which we can build more power stations. We need more generators. We need stuff like that. We have to get that stuff. Because almost instantly... Like, I've tried this, like I said, three times. You need almost infinite power, energy... I should really just say energy, because you you use it up so fast. It's ridiculous. It's insane how fast you use it. So fast. Just just so fast. Alright, so we got one of these. Uh, we need more guns, too. That's not good. Alright, go to strategic reserve. Great. Lightning warfare. Uh, actually, yeah, that's not bad. Our natural ability to manipulate the weather provides a great advantage over the savages below. Rain will fall upon them, lightning strikes shall strike them, and the very skies themselves shall aid our efforts. Very good. I'll go and do that finally. Miniaturized circuitry. Let's go ahead and grab some... Not that. Becca says, let's finish these guys off. More a special forces cap. Radio's done. Great. Let's grab some decryption. Dynamite will be great as well. A great addition to us. And some more doggos. Yes. We don't need a lot. And where we're going, we'll have plenty of time to build all this stuff up. So I'm not super concerned about that. So we just need more civilian production. Got to get more deployment points. I wish we could get more points every month. Because 12 points is not enough. But hey, that's just me, maybe. Maybe that's just me. Good, good, good. 
NCR declared war New Appaloosa. Now they're going to be fighting the slavers. Um, I tried to send in volunteers before, but it never worked, so they always rejected us. I'm not even going to bother because, well, I've already tried to... And they always say no. They always say no. Which makes sense. No one likes Navarro probably too much. <laughs> uh, Lightning Warfare, thank you. How about some who, he who strikes first? They have no time to react before we are upon them. Lasers and a plasma light shall strike the savages down, turning them into naught but ash and goo. I like ash and goo. Seven is not bad, even though doing that takes forever. Red alert for windy skies. The day started off normally enough. She'd woken you up, eating her morning rations, and reported for duty as an SPP tower status technician. It was a job to pick a side like her to monitor various meters, gauges, charts, and terminals to ensure that all was well with the SPP towers. Little did she suspect that the day would be anything but normal. Midway through the day, alarms began blaring throughout the tower, and several alerts went off. This would be accompanied by a message on her terminal screen informing her that her Ministry of Awesome mainframe had been accessed. Less than an hour later, she found herself sitting in front of multiple military officers. It all ranks far too high for her comfort. Question after question was thrown at her, and response after response was given in her turn. By the end of the interrogation, the officers were perhaps even more worried than they were at the beginning of it. How is that even possible? Well, don't ask questions. It just is. Uh, one of the comments from the, yesterday's video, or the last video, really, was, uh, does our focus view change, like this part of the focus view change, if we get a different leader? And yes, it does. It does change if you get General Tornado elected, or someone else, maybe even Seafire, I don't know, but... It does change on who you have in power, so Autumn Leaf has its own part of Unique Focus Tree, which is cool. As well as General Tornado, Sea Fire, all those people. Expand Armor Corps, very good. Very awesome. Now we're going to keep doing this. Weather Manipulation, Bad Weather Penalty, goes down. And actually, we should have a couple extra planes here, so that'll be nice as well. I'm actually going to have all you guys train immediately. Okay, this takes so long to build them up, but it costs so much to use them. Civilian Factories, and then more Soldiers. Good. We could invest in here, but... Eh. Get some more guns if you want them. Seismic activity! The remote city of Starfall had sent a message to us over emergency channels. It seemed that they de detected unusual seismic activity on an island off the northeastern coast of Griffonia. Upon the further investigation, they found that the source of said activity was not a mere natural disaster, but rather the mega spell testing. It is currently unknown which of these two superpowers on the continent are responsible for conducting these tests, and as such, Starfall has greatly increased their patrols over both. They promise to keep us updated on any more developments in this regard. Concerning. Absolutely, actually, it is. More research speed decryption is not bad. We'll probably go with that one. Worst part would be nice. Max factories. Oh, and new blood. Which one's that one? And new blood? And new blood. Do we have and new blood? I don't see and new blood here, so maybe we can't get that one. And new blood, blood, blood. No blood over here. No, so we can't go down that way. So we're locked out of those two here. This one and that one. So we got this one, this one, or this one. I'm going to go ahead and probably say I'm going to get a communications officer first because political power won't matter too much and I would like slightly more research speed and such like that for now. And cloud logistics, which is really good, minus 25% supply consumption. Supplies can easily be airdropped to our soldiers regardless of where they're located, which is good. Refined mixtures are also very good. Oh, look at that. Yes, more power armor. Yes, please. Let's go and grab some stim packs as well. That's awesome, awesome. Polyalphabetic staffers replaced with long range radio. Don't mind if we do. I'm talking kind of fast just because I actually had some coffee before this episode. But, like, I want to get through as much as we can possibly get through as fast as we possibly can. Because it'll be good to do so. Eight. Almost have nine. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. 34% of our numbers of total factories are, are needed to produce consumer goods. Not bueno. Not bueno. Cyber dogs a little bit ahead of time. Infantry. Oh, yeah. Let's do some warrior training. That'd be nice. More divisions, thank goodness. Shock and all. What we're done with our land auction, thank goodness. Next up, let's go and grab this. Yeah, advanced circuitry. Why not? Cool. And then after that, weather manipulation will be replaced with cloud terminals for more encryption, decryption, which gives us a combat bonus or advantage. Maybe not a bonus. Yeah, it kind of is a bonus. More civilian factories. We gotta build, 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 and then get more soldiers. What are we producing that we don't have? Makeshift. Oh, saws. Oh, good. We want a lot of sauce. Cloud logistics, great, and shall win s swiftly. What chance do they have against us? Our technology is the most advanced in the world while they have flung rocks and spears. This world will be swift, and all the surface will be reclaimed within a matter of months. You think that, but actually it's not. It's going to be really difficult, especially against the Red Eye Empire. And additionally, you don't know this yet, but since I've tried it, like, a few times off-screen, we have a time limit. Because we have a monthly war exhaustion modifier in our decisions tabs, which we, obviously we can't see right now, but we will be able to see it once we are at war, which means once you hit 100 war exhaustion, your government collapses. So, when you're ready to go, you best be ready to go and have a very relatively quick, not super quick, but relatively quick war. So, just gotta keep that in mind. Oh, 
Unity's gone. Hey, nice. Very nice. And the Republic is sorting out for now, but they're not going to be doing great. Let's be real here. Service Pioneer Corps. A special Corps of Engineers shall be established as dedicated entirely to repairing the rubble and ruins that cover the surface. Nice. Another division, good. Oh, look at that. Red Eyes Empire has done a... Wow, they've done a lot. More, thank you. And then more soldiers, please. Just build, build, build. Soldiers, soldiers, soldiers. Because you can't rely on either army group. Yeah, it didn't make any sense why, like... I made sure they spawned each with 45 divisions. They spawned with, like, 15 maybe max. Didn't make any sense, but whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. I'll deal with whatever we got with. And also, I guess, Lightbringers Massacre Ponies at Arbu, and Learn of the Gardens of Equestria. Cool. The military application weather? Why not? After a long range video, we'll grab some side channel attack. Oh, it's only 13 days. Holy cow, that's really good. After that, we're going to do, do, do prepare economic mobilization. Our economy as a whole is still organized to handle civilian needs more so than military ones. This won't do it all. Factories will be seized, laws will be rewritten and suspended, and loyal militarists will be given oversight over op industries. Very, very good. Civilian soldiers. Because actually, when we actually go to war, deploying points we can still use and still get more soldiers and stuff like that, which is great and all. But we do get, lose the ability to actually make more soldiers for our uh, other army groups. Cool. Military training, because we can. Awesome. Another military division. If you give me one moment, I will be right back. Alright, everyone, sorry about that, but DEFCON Zero. We have received an emergency alert from Starfall. The worst has come to pass. The Holy Grafonian Empire and the United Social States of Rizhokograd have engaged in a mega spell exchange. The Starfall Civil Defense Unit was quick to respond, moving their entire city away from the Grafonian coast in record time. They believe their city would be far enough away to be safe from any necromatic fallout or other arcane byproduct coming from further inland. All patrols were withdrawn, and Starfall is now waiting for the air to clear before they send scouts to see if anything is left alive in the Griffonian wasteland. It seems that the superpowers of Griffonia could only survive for the last 200 years, but they couldn't survive the weight of their own arrogance. Another world perishes. And we've advanced circuitry. Good. Very nice. Let's grab some digital data links for even more research speed as we try to get more soldiers. And actually, oh, we can't get that one next. That's fine. I just would like to make sure that we have some factories going on. These guys actually need more power armor, too. No idea, but hey, it is what it is, right? Auto-injectors? Sever dogs? Eh, might as well, right? Might as well. Does anyone else need to upgrade themselves? Because now that we have one full stack of, you know, divisions, it's not going to be enough. We're going to need at least two full stacks, minimum. Final preparations. Operation Cauterize is near ready, and that's all that's left to do is give a speech or two and ensure that our pickets high are fully behind it. Which we're not going to launch it anytime soon, like, I'll be real, like, yeah. Not yet. Definitely not yet. 11. Could be better, could be worse, but we also need to research power stations. That's what they're called, power stations. Because we're going to need, is like, everything's going to be filled with power stations. Like, max that sucker out. Pegasus technology, special technologies. We can do Pegasus stuff, but it's not really necessary, I suppose. Seeing as, well, we're not really using Pegasuses. Pegasi. You know, it is what it is. Sports. I'm going to go Flamers because Flamers get you 10% more soft attack compared to everything else here, which is okay, but I don't want to cause as much soft attack damage as possible. Just max that sucker out. Uh, Special Forces attack is nice, but this actually gives you more recovery for all divisions and infantry will need to attack eventually too, so that'll be good to do. Next up, uh, Soldiers. Always get more Soldiers. Always, 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 always get more Soldiers. 12 days left, and we've got too many days left for there. Military application of weather, and then Clouds like steel. More resource efficiency gain and less consumer goods factories. That is so necessary right now. Super, super, super necessary. And put warriors, at f pure warriors for an impure world. Our soldiers are the bravest and strongest biggest side to fl ever fly. They march without question. They fight without fear. They shall show absolutely no mercy as they carry out their duties. The surface shall be cleaned or cleansed, and they shall be the ones to cleanse it. Very, very good. So yeah, I mean, there's probably a way for us to actually like do this earlier on, but I'm going to wait a long time to build up a pretty go gosh darn good army. As you can see, the NCR is dying right now. So, yeah. Hmm. Production lines, that'd be nice. How much do we have here? 12? I think we can afford at least one more for now. That'd be good. We have three deployment points available. And Chief of the Air Force. I like that one. More air speed gain. Yeah, that's probably better. More air superiority. Air superiority attack. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. And I love how fast this mod moves. It just, it's so good. How fast, how quick it is. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, we're in the department. We, we must start doing some decryption, right? 
Actually, here, we have no portrait, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. Whatever. And we're not going to launch it. Obviously, I'm going to do a lot of stuff off-screen for it. So, uh, that would be nice. Let's do funding for military projects. Our military is rapidly becoming even more crucial to our continued survival. Several new factories will be built to help facilitate the expansion of it. And now we've got a lot of, well, Red Eyes Empire. At least they don't have the unity, which is nice. They don't have a lot of manpower, but honestly, like, I tabbed over when I was doing this off-screen just to see what the world was like. And they go to the highest conscription level, scraping the barrel. 30% more recruitable population. And they're probably going to have at least... I'm going to assume maybe roughly 300 divisions by the time we go to war with them, so... Like, as you can tell from me, I'm expecting the absolute worst, so... Better doggos. Oh, I love the doggos. Medex, thank you. Yeah, we need a lot of doggos, a lot of infantry armor, just a lot of things, period. So much is going to be needed. Uh, flamethrower's not bad. Yeah, sustains pressure, even more soft attack. Yes, please. Because there's there's so many bodies we got to get rid of. So many bodies. Oh, so many bodies. As much as I love bodies, there's just too many that we have to fight. Yes, please. Yes, please. Good. And obviously, I'm, the, I'm ignoring this completely, but... I have another power armor division, because power armor is really strong. Usually. Usually. Looking pretty good. More demo equipment. Watch out for spies. Any present stuff. And we'll go ahead and do Earth Cycle Scrap Metal for production. Metals are scarce among the clouds. As a result, we can't afford to be wasteful. Scrap metal must be used in our manufacturing regardless of the quality of it. Which is great, great, great. Cloud like steel. Ah, so good. And more speed or monthly population. Ah, uh, I'm going to go with advanced cloud seeding. Why not? Let's try that. 20% is not much. But you know what? We're going to be very far in the future by the time we come back here, so... We'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. And we can probably close this. Nothing's going to change there for now, which is fine. Soldiers! And it's more civilian production. 9 out of 15. Of course, we're all doing some intelligence agency stuff as well. And watch for spies. Thank you. Become a spy master? Might as well. Maybe get another slot for that stuff. Good. Let's grab some more Enforcer Suppression Bonus, so that means technically we'll need less manpower, hopefully, to actually put down resistance, so... Soldiers. Always more soldiers. Thank you. 10 to 15, not bad. More divisions? Awesome. We gotta wait to maybe make a few more things of saws so we can put them on our divisions. Reactivate wartime factories. Many factories were shut down after the Great War ended, either due to the lack of need for them or the lack of resources to supply them. Most of these factories were later demolished and their machinery and components being used elsewhere. However, a few of them were overlooked and stand abandoned to this day. Perhaps it's time we put them to use. Now it's going to hurt our civilian factory, just our industry, but that's totally okay. So now we've got enough army XP. We don't need Pegasi. I'm sorry, we just don't need it for right now. Defense. Throw these guys on there. Absolutely necessary. I don't care what the cost is. We don't have enough damn equipment. Whatever. I don't really care. We're going to need more. Always going to need more, 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 more. Awesome. Another division. It's power armor. Yes, please. Awesome. Train, train, train. you got to be the best possible divisions. And soldiers. Good. Good, good, good. Watch out for spies. Let's go ahead and do some more. Watch out for spies just in case. Digital decryption. Uh, that's just a little bit too ahead of time for my liking. Specialized doctrine. Specialized warfare. We gotta start doing that stuff. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. Soft Blossom Linguist Infiltrator. Nice. Medex. Best Medex. Awesome. Sustain Pressure Incinerators. So basically, I'm just waiting for the Red Eye Empire to take over the world. That's pretty much what I'm just waiting for at this point. Soldiers, yes, please. Civilian Production, yes, please. Still 11, and we're doing intelligence stuff. Not bad. Alright, uh, I don't want to hurt construction speed yet. So, new clouds the bioplastic factory. Surface plants can be useful for more than just creating a beautiful site. Our scientists have discovered methods of turning these plants into usable plastics, which could go a long way towards supplying our industries. Be great. After this, we'll go back to any partisan, because we can. Nice. So you can see training. Let's grab some more breakthrough. Guerrilla tactics. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Defense cloud seeding will be next. After that, we'll be done with this stuff, too. Awesome. We can do that stuff eventually, which we will. Uh, grab some digital encryption. And three days. Good. More soldiers. Seven deployment points. That's it. Oh my goodness, that's not going to be enough. Any partisan? Ooh, actually, that's not bad. So, eventually, we do want to build up. We will need to build up, actually, a lot of industry. Or infrastructure, I should really say, right here. These aren't cores, by the way, but that'll be okay. In the meantime, keep doing our stuff here if we need to. Merchant spies, that's totally fine with me. 
Oh, really, totally fine with me. Hopefully, it's okay with you guys as well. <sighs> Never enough soldiers. Need more demo equipment, but whatever. They'll be fine. And we shall do develop advanced scouting equipment. Despite having a greater view of it, our actual knowledge regarding the surface is rather limited. This is in part due to our scouts relying on simple, rather rather simple, simplistic equipment. Investing in more advanced components or equipment for them could go a long way towards fixing this issue. We get a lot of boats to recon, which I might actually throw on to our power armor divisions because we just because we can. That could be actually really really good. Give our power armor as many buffs as possible. It might lower their armor, but that might just be worth it. Keep building, building, building. That's awesome. And soldiers. And then, awesome. You can tell it's already 12.42, not bad. Thank you, thank you. If you need to train some more, go right ahead. Nice. Another division. Doctor's homemade bag, not bad. Some better saws. Let's go with HRCWs. Incinerators, awesome. Grab some cooling jackets as well. Yes, yes, that'd be good. That'd be very, very good. Flamethrowers, incinerators, develop advanced scouting kits. Raise our standards for supply kits. Our standard military supply kits are simple and intended for mass production and distribution. While this has served purposes for centuries, it may be time to manufacture more extensive supply kits to better meet our needs. Makes a lot of sense. Soldiers, because we, as we make more divisions, we're just going to be more and more and more and more soldiers. We have 11 development points. Over here, we're going to go ahead and grab something else. Tanks, eh, that's not really worth it. So we can't get this guy. We can't do old friends. So we can the world, which would be okay. Defense, special forces, capacity multiplier. Let's go and grab that one. That'll be worth it. Because we have more power armor. And actually, I'll probably have to split this power armor group into two. So let's grab some more special forces expansion. Because power armor is going to save the day. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, our recruitable monthly population is negative three. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's going to disperse. That's fine. Expand the Skyfall Wharfs. Building boats in the sky may be a bit odd, but it's the best way to ensure that we can maintain a naval presence in the waters below. That's very, very weird, but hey, we'll take it. Actually, so I want to see this. We are using that type of power armor, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this. More land out attack. 20% is nothing of a joke. That's, that's, that's pretty strong. And actually, I should have done this earlier. More backyard workshops. That'd be good. I, I've ignored the industry stuff for too long. I don't know why I did that. But it is what it is, you know. Civilian production. Soldiers are next. But we can't afford it yet. 15.5. That's not bad. That is not bad. But now it's probably 15.1. Or 15. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Soldiers, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And expand their sky wharfs. Very nice. Invite Cumulus Engineers. The Cumulus Federatia is known for its highly capable engineers. Indeed, they are some of the finest the Enclave has to offer. Perhaps we could offer some employment to some of them. Three dockyards is, is going to be pretty much worth it. All we get are convoys, which are okay. Actually, we need more resources, too. Oh, go do that. Get some cooling jackets. Get some of that. Heavy incinerators. Don't mind if we do. And follow it up with... Uh, we could probably actually use some anti-tank rifles. If we don't ever use that, that that you're just guaranteed. You're not guaranteed, but odds are you're not going to do very well. A bit more civilian production. Obviously, when we take some land, we'll get some more factories and such like that. But we got to make sure we have enough civilian factories for this stuff. Air Force, do the technology because you can. Good, good, good. Soldiers, because we have less than a thousand pony power. We're going to need a lot of pony power to help put down resistance and such, too, so we can't forget about that. Alright, military grade electronics. Our equipment relies on advanced electronics to function. Expanding our production of these electronics is essential to facilitate the further expansion of military production. Absolutely. Seal some tech. Radio interception group. Soldiers, good. More production, good, good, good. Special Forces expansion. We're going to go and grab acclimatization training as well. That'd be nice. And we're almost done here. Four days. We're going to probably go ahead and grab the next level as well, just immediately. Nice. 15 1. It's okay. Heavy incinerators. My goodness, we definitely need to make these 
We make more infrastructure. Holy cow. That's not very good, is it? Uh, let's go back to industry stuff, actually. Not engineering. Grab some more construction speed. At factory repair speed, that'd be good. That's going to be done soon, in which we'll grab, expand the Bureau of Architecture. The Bureau of Architecture is responsible for ensuring that a building's designs are as efficient as possible, while their designs are often despised by the laborers that actually have to build them. They allow us to shove as many buildings as possible in as little space as possible, so that's not too bad. Let's come back to industry. Let's grab some... Actually, let's grab this one. Standardized tools. Good, good, good. That. And then we'll get some more manpower. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Anti tank. Let's grab some focus fire because we can. And actually add this to the slots. There we go. We need way more power armor now. Wow. It's not like we can increase the conscription level either, so. We'll have to make do with whatever we got. Only 1200. Not really ideal. Well, recon bonus will entrench and max planning factor. Might as well. Cloud heart, Cloud's Heart Reactor. The Cloud's Heart Reactor is a project that was first proposed years ago. It would be a massive construct that houses an equally massive mass of angry charged clouds. The lightning from these clouds can then be harvested for energy in the interest of meeting the Enclave's increasing energy needs. This project will finally be approved. Soldiers, please. Thank you. Nice. Keep building, building, building. Build, build, build to your heart's des desire, really. Backyard workshops, great. Even more workshops, please. Rapid prototyping takes forever to do, but since this is so fast, it doesn't really matter. Sure, why not? Additional production lines, it's not bad. Soldiers are a key, though. If we get two things of 15 civilian factories at the same time, then that's enough for me. I think that'd be enough. Let's see, supply wise, we're doing really well, except on power armor, so. And a rebuild Cloudsdale Manufacturing. Old Cloudsdale was once the center of all Pegasus industry. We should make an effort to expand the industri industrial capabilities of new Cloudsdale so that any so that it may compare to anything else in the world. So with that focus, we will finish that one up. We've done all the other focuses besides Operation Cauterize, which we will start with tomorrow. So we'll end it here, and it'll be definitely probably even a de different decade than when we're in right now. Just to prepare ourselves because red eye slavers, well, or empire, a lot of divisions, plenty of manpower. And a lot of factors. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is all leading up to tomorrow's video. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when there's going to be literally thousands of dead ponies. Going, to, that's, There's going to be a lot of death. Thanks for watching, <laughs> and have a great rest of your day.